make your way through the subtle dust storms, this north side of the barbed fields towards Bazozan to see what the next step of your adventure is. If I could have everyone but Yasha leave the table, please. Ooh. If you could go. Gross. Oh, oh, gross. Oh, shit. Man. Get out quick. End whispers? Get out quick. Oh, this is the worst. This is... Turn off the TV outside. No, oh, yeah. I want to watch. No, yeah, turn the TV the off. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, man, that did not I, good. I am happy I wore this shirt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Through this experience, the minute that burning sensation seared into the back of your neck, it was weirdly familiar. You begin to feel the rush of memories, of being found broken in the wastes. This red-skinned savior pulled you from the depths and showed you a, an angel like yourself that could give the power you need to maybe forgive yourself, or perhaps one day avenge those that took your love from you. And you just see flashes, flashes of laughter and conversations with this Oban and others. A traveling troop of zealots wandering these plains. Flashes of you, brothers in arms, Flashes of you hunting those who wander too far from their village. Flashes of the bloodshed and carnage you caused. Uncertain if it was within you this whole time, or was it this same burning? You don't know. You just know you kept being drawn to his yellow eyes and his comforting voice. Who knows how long? You see yourself receded into your consciousness, looking through a tiny window. Your body not your own. Frozen in emotion, watching your friends scream and flee. You see the hulking mammoth, laughing hand, an entity you had heard the name once or twice in the past, but had long forgotten, blacked out like all these memories. You see it slam and slam and slam into these barriers. You help. The two of you together watch as the first barrier begins to crack and break and then shatter over time. Another period passes with the strength of you two silently smash through the next barrier, which you shouldn't be able to do. But this entity is far older and of a different make than anything you've encountered before. You're scared, but you have no control, or do you? That thought scares you. Before the behemoth lumbers off, slowly clawing both of you away to freedom once more, you step back into the chamber and gather in your hands the remaining ichor that once was Oban. In it, you can still feel a very faint thrum or beat. Holding in your hand, you turn and follow your new lumbering friend. Or at least the body does. Or is it you? You're scared. And that's where we'll end tonight's episode. 
Holy moly. We're gonna miss you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too! I know. <sighs> All right. That's... That's intense. <laughs> and that's the end of this chapter for Yasha. Okay. And I'll keep you updated as we go as to what that means Another point points in time. But regardless, an intense episode. But thank you guys for joining us for a true Dark Knight of the Soul moment of the campaign.